Hi everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Busker. My name is Bobby Cody. Uh, my last video was uh, Science Merges with Religion, Our Artificial Solar System is a Message. In that video, I ended uh, the last uh, interview that we uh, looked at was one with, it was from the Event Horizon program with, his name is John Michael Gaudier. Uh, he was the host. He was interviewing Dr. Abraham or A.V. Loeb. Um, I want to give a summation of that in the way that interrelates with the rest of that video because I threw that video up without giving a summation in the way that I think that integrates with my hypothesis. So I'm going to do that in this video. So once again, if you haven't read, seen that video yet, watched it, it's going to be posted down below, Science Merges with Religion. Uh, right now, I just want to take a look first at uh, Dr. Abraham Loeb's credentials. Uh, he's from Harvard, very credentialed, but just, let's just take a look for a moment. Dr. Abraham, or A.V. Loeb, is the Frank B. Baird Jr. Professor of Science at Harvard University. Dr. Loeb has authored over 700 papers and is the founding director of Harvard's Black Hole Initiative. He serves on the advisory committee for the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative. And in 2012, Time Magazine selected Dr. Loeb as one of the 25 most influential people in space. Okay, so we can see Dr. Loeb is very credentialed uh, from Harvard. Uh, was uh, in a Time magazine list of 25 most, in, in, excuse me, most influential people in space. Um, let's see what Dr. Loeb has to say about Oumuamua. Oumuamua was the first interstellar object that came into our solar system that we have detected. Uh, it had characteristics we've never seen before. Now, here's Dr. Loeb. I want to hear what. He he has to say about Oumuamua, this object's uh, movement, or lack thereof, you might say. Let's listen to what he has to say. say in the paper that the Oumuamua occupies a very strange frame of reference, or at least a unique frame of reference within the galaxy. What do you mean by that? Well, it so happens that the, the object started at rest relative to the so-called local standard of rest, which is the frame of reference uh, obtained by averaging the motion of all the stars in the vicinity of the sun. So stars are moving relative to each other. And if you take the average of all these motions in, in the neighborhood of the sun, you get to the local standard of rest. And uh, that's the galactic frame of reference, so to speak. And it so happens that Oumuamua was at rest in that frame. Only one in 500 stars are so slow as Oumuamua was before it entered the solar system. And so one way to think of it is that uh, Oumuamua resembled a buoy on the surface of an ocean that sits uh, still on the surface until a boat comes over and, and kicks it. And so uh, the solar system bumped into Oumuamua just like a boat bumps into a buoy on the surface of an ocean. And the relative speed between Oumuamua and us uh, is simply a result of uh, us moving towards it. This is rather peculiar because um, if it originated uh, from uh, planetary systems like the solar system, then you would expect it to inherit uh, the motion of the parent star and move at about 20 kilometers per second uh, relative to the local standard of rest. Uh, we don't see that. It seems to be associated with this preferred frame of reference. And uh, one possible interpretation is that uh, there is a network of such objects in the galactic frame and they serve as some uh, posts, uh, road posts, and the uh, stars run into them every now and then, like the solar system ran into Oumuamua. Uh, of course, we, we don't really know and we have to wait for the second object to be discovered. If the second one is also at that frame of reference, it would make the likelihood of a random event of this type to be uh, 1 over 500 squared, extremely small probability, one almost 1 in a million. 
And so um, I would say that, the, you know, we just have to wait. And if there is another one coming uh, at the same speed from the same direction, it would look really peculiar. It would indeed. Now, what natural process could produce this? Would this, uh, if, if, it is, if it is natural that produces frame of reference, would that simply indicate that Umumo has just been out circling the galaxy for a very, very long time? No, because there is no uh, process that can slow down. Wow, okay, so Dr. Loeb says that Oumuamua, what was the first deep interstellar object to come into our solar system, <coughs> excuse me, wasn't actually moving, it was sitting still. Our solar system, the whole galaxy, Milky Way galaxy rotates, we're in our sun, our solar system is the sun in the Milky Way galaxy. So we're rotating along with the whole galaxy. Oumuamua wasn't moving into our solar system, it was sitting still. Our solar system came by it. He speculates that there may be a whole network of these things and that Oumuamua may be like a galactic road post. Wow, okay. Now remember, this is Dr. Loeb from Harvard. He's one of the preeminent astronomers in the United States, if not the world. So let's hear what he has to say about the shape of the object. Anybody who follows this in the news has continually seen this displayed as a cigar-shaped object. Like Dr. Loeb says, that's one interpretation, but not the most likely. We refer to the cigar-shaped uh, uh, object. However, I would find the, the pancake-shaped the configuration much more likely because it's quite likely that this object suffered a lot of kicks along its uh, lengthy journey. And so that's interesting by itself that, that based on its tumbling motion, if you assume that it's in the most excited state because of the many kicks that it suffered, then it should be a pancake-like geometry, very extreme shape, without any reference to the possibility that it's a sail. That already sounds very exotic. Now, this this very fast tumbling, this rotation that it exhibits. How does this uh, relate to the local standard of rest that it's, it seems to be sitting there in one aspect, but it seems to be highly excited in another? How do those two relate? Well, uh, the the motion relative to the local standard of rest is of the object as a whole. Okay, so we have preeminent Harvard uh, astronomer, Dr. Abraham or A.D. Loeb, stating that a Momoa, this deep interstellar voyager uh, object, <clears throat> isn't likely to be cigar-shaped, but flat like a sail. And it is sitting still within the galactic standard of rest, which means as the galaxy moves, it just stands still. I I'd like to propose that and he proposes that this could be a network of road posts in the galaxy. Only galactic civilization could put those up. One that could move solar systems potentially. Please see the uh, link below about my video about that. So my proposal is that we are entering the age of Aquarius and there's also, I believe, Indian uh, prophecies that we are coming out of the Kali Yuga. Uh, I would like to propose perhaps that this network of road posts is significant because we are entering the age of Aquarius and this might be one road post that's meant to measure this on a galactic level. Just speculation, but somewhat informed speculation. I hope you'll research a little more on this. Click on the links below. Uh, other than that, everyone, thanks for watching.